Hello and welcome to another video. On uh, this video I'm going to show you how you can use the fancy box um, library uh, which is free. Um, using this template as I mentioned in the previous um, videos. So I'm not changing anything from this template. The only thing I'm going to be using is basically the navigation. So on this one I'm going to add this tutorial to pages fancy box so I'm gonna click here and I prepared some examples using images and one with YouTube video <clears throat> so this is really simple nothing complicated about it so when you click on the image you get the fancy box and then exit out same thing with this one now as you notice there's a left arrow and uh, right arrow arrow so you can go back and forth as many pictures as you have and you can use this with any website it doesn't have to be net or MVC you can use it with anything and of course you can pass on a video for YouTube so this is the so this is how you can embed uh, YouTube video I think also you can do flash but on this one I'm just uh, playing with with the embedded for YouTube so I'm gonna, now I'm gonna show you how I did this uh, obviously this is not an advanced feature but uh, if you're starting out learning how to add or use the fancy box library JavaScript uh, this will be helpful for you and especially if you're on MVC so what I done is let me close this out before I continue the first thing you need to do is on your reference go to the nuggets package and on the search just type fancy that should get the search done to this guy so this is the fancy box library just click install in, well I already did so I don't see the install button but you will have it like this click install accept the license agreement once you're done then you're gonna have you're not gonna see it in here because this is JavaScript not .NET but you'll see that it adds a lot of JavaScript so here I added one two three four five I think this one too and you're gonna need to pass this to your pages in my case I'm gonna pass this to the layout page and you also get uh, it adds jQuery UI folder just a base class the base uh, CSS and it does also add this three CSS so you're gonna need all that to make this work so what I did is using the new layout I've done in the all the way in the bottom I can make a oops oops what is going on just need to copy paste I'm gonna say fancy box js slash css so at least it will tell you what's going on here so what I done is I uh, drag all these links from the folders that we have the CSS right here and the uh, the JavaScripts so that's all you need to do drag them all to your in your head section and you're done now this is obviously if you don't need it on every page you can move it out of here and and dump it on the page that you need it but I'm just gonna leave it there the next thing that I did was just to follow the example so if you go to fancyamps.com slash fancybox you see this page uh, you have instructions examples 
but you have everything that you need to get started and right here it tells you what you need for everything to work so and also this so basically you need your your links library links an example simple example just replace the image with something you have on your computer on your project and add this jQuery to get started now there's an example here obviously you can click looks good so we're gonna turn back into Visual Studio and as you can see here I did this the example that they have on the website the only thing I did is I just made up some pictures which are just those two and here this is the YouTube link now make sure your class uh, for all of this matches up with with the jQuery that we're gonna add now your YouTube link is not your regular link uh, this one has this section embedded or embed so if you don't pass that section I don't think the YouTube is gonna play the video so now once you have what you're gonna be showing just remember that the class equals fancy box now as you can see here there's a script that when the document when the DOM is ready okay then select we're gonna it's initializing and what is initializing is the class so the dot that is is actually selecting anything with the fancy box class uh, so you can see there's or other uh, options here on uh, this example there's none it's just fancy box that's it but to make everything work especially with the videos and the images and everything uh, you can pass these options and all those options are in let me go down here as you can see here various types so if you're looking for a YouTube it's working here so if you want to know how this example works you can look at the YouTube link autoplay equals one and here's the options for the fancy box if you scroll down there's many options here that you can do with height a whole lot of stuff so now come back here that's how it gets initialized and it actually plays on your browser so this is just a quick tutorial how you can start using it on any website and hopefully this will help you get started using the fancy box uh, library that it's free and according to the license it's free to use with personal uh, or non-profit websites so if you need a commercial you can pay a fee let's see how much 19 bucks for a single domain that's pretty nice and if you have multiple domains 89 bucks so hopefully that will help you get started on how you can use the fancy box library with MVC and jQuery if you have any questions send me a message thank you for watching